I am Officer Jackboot Jackson. I think it's time that we have some law and order inside of the Beanie Castle. I heard we also have mail time. I don't open mail. Mail opens for me after dealing with my authority. Open up! Open the door! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! There's a dog. I mean, obviously, I'm just being facetious, but Officer Jack Boot Riley was a character I introduced today on my YouTube channel on We Are Change. So, if you want more of a perspective of who Jack Boot Riley is, definitely go check out the video I made today, which is probably a couple days later. But this is, I think this is a perfect, someone just sent me this, a holster. <laughs> nice, perfect present. Goes along pretty well with my school safety belt attached here. And uh, this is pretty cool, who's this from? Lucas Roca, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, pistol holster. I wonder what fire. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Means a lot. Let's go after the bigger one. The bigger one. Looks interesting here. The wall is full, but I love art. And uh, I have an RV. I could always put up some of the art in the RV. So uh, it, it, it's crazy because it worked out perfectly. The, the amount of art I got within uh, the span of the two mail times perfectly fit on that wall. So now this is a lot of people who found out about it late. So I may just put it up somewhere here in the house when Tim's not looking or in my RV or in Tim's RV. Right. What is this? I think that's Machu Picchu. Yeah, I think this is Machu Picchu. I've been there before, it's pretty wild. The energy there is like off the charts. Luke, this is a picture of your wall. Inca doorway. This, to, this is the picture I took on my trip to Machu Picchu. Thank you, Linda. Machu Picchu is really fun. Um, thank you so much for this really, really cool photo. I enjoyed, I had a crazy wild, like wild, wild adventure to Machu Picchu. Um, and uh, yeah, this is gonna remind me of those adventures. So thank you so much, Linda, for sending that over. Appreciate it very much. This is another bit box. Ooh, I think this is a skateboard. Oh wow. I don't, I don't, I'm not like the cool kids around here. I don't really skateboard back to start. <laughs> and this is a moose having a really good day. Chomping on some uh, fresh greens, being very happy. It's pretty cool. Please enjoy this skateboard from our locally owned and operated skate company, Natural High. Also enclosed is a random print, my friend, Devin Drew. Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. I love your podcast. Want to give you something from the 49th state. Thank you again, Larry O'Kelly. Larry, thank you. This is pretty cool. Got another poster. Wow, this one's cool. <laughs> nice. It's like the hand of liberty and the hand of monarchy. This is a really cool poster. Thank you for uh, sending this to me. I don't think there was a note anywhere, but this is pretty cool. This is a DVD of Trump versus the Illuminati, and he's uh, facing off against some reptilians here. Uh, a Chinese clone of the 45th president, Donald Trump, survives the earth destruction by escaping his maximum security lab and stowing away abroad the last Chinese space-bound shuttle. So this looks pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if we have a DVD player here, but uh, if I find one, I'm intrigued to see what this is all about. Got a letter here from JB, who says, congratulations 
Congrats on all your continued success. Aloha from Hawaii. I am pleased to present you Trump vs. the Illuminati, a film I helped distribute from indie filmmakers BC 14. If you have time, please enjoy the madness and purely comedic endeavors, or just toss the DVD and enjoy the insert art on your new wall. Keep up the incredible work. Thank you so much, JB. That's uh, This is definitely some incredible art that uh, <laughs> is definitely worth Highlighting to say the least. Something here. Oh. That, was a, that was a clinger. Okay, is this Joe Biden's art? The back looks pretty cool. Oh, it's the Northern Lights. I thought this was Hunter Biden's art. Art. This. This is pretty cool. This is. From Sue's Colorful World, Dear Luke, this is original artwork for your wall. I hope you like it. Pretty cool, I like it. Thank you so much, uh, Sue. I really, really appreciate it. This is pretty freaking dope. Thank you very much for uh, sending me that. Up here, this looks interesting. There's like a heart with a crop, with a arrow through it on top here. It says, Luke, I hope you're, you know how valuable you are. I'm so glad you are in the house. You add so much to the team. Keep up the great work. Jenny B. Jenny B. Tell that to the rest of the crew. This, I guess, is from an old book. It says Assassin on the top. Well, these look like really cool stickers. Anime stickers. You know, all you anime fans are going to be pretty happy about that. And... This drawing. Discovered your content around 2016. Keep doing what you, what you do. Made this drawing by folding and doing in pieces, gradually connecting the separate pieces. Also, please take these stickers I've made. Feel free to pass them around to members of the house or various people of your travels. Thank you for your work. Respect, Scribbles. Not, his name's not Scribbles, but it is just scribbled on there. License plate. License plate. That has this photo on it, which is pretty cool. Dearest Luke, I'm sorry it took so long uh, than expected to get this to you, but I work at my family business and due to the boss, AKA my dad being out with COVID, my personal ambitions had to be put on the back burner and all of my free time was spent trying to fill his extremely large shoes. I think we have a beanie and this one. This one's from Thad. Thank you, Thad. The Conspiracy Coffee Bakery Beanie. This looks pretty cool. And he writes, thank you, Luke, for all the enjoyment you bring me through your show. I've brought several of your shirts and love listening to you as well as Tim. I have a small coffee uh, roastery and cafe here in North Central PA. Here is a sticker for the new wall. If you're even near Mumsfield, Pennsylvania, stop in. God bless Thad. Thank you. These are pretty cool. Ooh, these look. This is from Rick and Nat. Two dirty birds named after our parents. Luke, you are a beautiful, amazing human being. Keep up the great work you do on YouTube. We have been watching you or your show for some time now. Here are some gifts for your space. We make little creative things in hopes to bring joy, rainbows, smiles to folks. Cheers from us on... Wissibly Island, uh, Washington to you. Stay strong, stay safe. Thank you so much. This is pretty cool. Let's see what is in there. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, this looks pretty gnarly. This looks pretty cool. Is this like a pendulum thing? This looks cool. Yeah, this is dope. Thank you. I usually have, I, I already have something like this um, in the RV. Whenever sunlight hits it, it like spreads all these cool colors all over the place. So I'm definitely gonna put this inside of the house somewhere where the sun hits it, cause it looks super cool. Thank you for that, that's awesome. And then we got this stuff. It says Frigili on there. Ooh. Oh, nice. Huh. How do you put this? Do you put this like this or I guess you put it like that? These are cool, thank you. 
Oh yeah, they're actually, uh, they are plants and they give, they give you instructions how to take care of them with light and water. Got a warning sign, no letter. It says warning due to price increases on ammo, do not expect a warning shot. That's pretty funny. This is the restoration of the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think it's a hymn or a story. Thank you for that. As well as a picture of what looks like two Jesus. And now, this looks interesting. I'm a buffalo, I do what I want, rage roamers. And this looks like a whole bunch of beanies. Enjoy the socks. Nice, this is from the buffalowoolco.com and they just sent us a whole bunch of socks. This, these are awesome. I think these are, these wool too. They have to be, they say they're wool. That's pretty freaking cool. These are a lot of socks. Wow. It's definitely cold here in uh, West Virginia. I'm usually a Florida man. But these socks, uh, here you go. You want a sock miracle? Uh, sure. Here, let me get you. Uh, I get cold easily, so I feel like I do die. Here. here you go. Thank you. You want one? Here you go. Boom. Oh, these are so cute. Yeah, these are cool. Thank you for all the socks. I'm going to be giving them out. Thank you for all your mail. This is really cool stuff. I really, really appreciate it, including the holster. The holster looks pretty sick. Um, beanies, skateboard, signs, the Trump versus the Illuminati lizards. Thank you so much for all your stuff. I would really, really deep down appreciate it. It's always awesome to be able to interact with you guys in this way. It's very unique. It's very different. You never know what you're opening. And uh, it's always something really awesome, crazy, unique, and really fun. So appreciate you guys sending us all this stuff. And it uh, means a lot. Today we give thanks to IHOP yes. for being open on Thanksgiving. There's chicken sandwiches, there's like burgers. Look at this, this one's a, this is the breakfast, breakfast one. It's a breakfast burger. It's like an egg, hash brown. Oh. I've seen amounts of sausage. Meat sticks. And lots of nuggets. Lots of chicken. This one is breakfast burgers? No, that's a regular burger. You want the breakfast one? I think this is the breakfast one. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the salad in the bag. I think it's the patty no. Are you putting, what is happening here? Making sauce. Uh -huh. I'm gonna make uh, gold sauce. Gold sauce. Chicago sauce. What's up? Is this a Chicago thing? No. Is it cool? It's not, it's a common restaurant. It's gold sauce. Barbecue mayo uh, and uh, mustard. They have it at basically every single wing restaurant in New York City. You guys don't know this stuff? I, I think this place is amazing. I'm wondering if that's how high this grass gets, because it like folds over. I mean, we do get lots of windstorms, but you know, a lot of types the grass will just keep growing. They'll get like five, four feet high. It does not fit on the lift gate. If I yeah. can't turn it around, oh. if my little friend is going to feel old. I'm just going to slide it out here so it's on the lift gate. Uh, I got a phone call here. Yeah, my parents take it with and um, we'll yeah. be falling off. We can do it pretty quick. Can you get... But check these boxes that's damaged and yeah. we'll file a claim. Boxes damaged? Oh um, no, she said like it's open. It. This is open. This, look. Um, I don't know if this is a part of it or what. Now the big ones are actually light, surprisingly. Yeah. <laughs> These ones are all okay. 
design. Yeah, it's curved. So they curve and the big arm. They'll give you a number to file a um, claim, and then FedEx um, damages department will contact you. Gotcha. Okay. That's smart. They put um, little pieces of plywood on the top and bottom. So that makes it a lot more rigid and harder to compress. So the cardboard was damaged, but I think all the but actual materials. Open, you see the end of that? Yeah, okay. you know that? That's the one thing you do the sides. Does it look damaged? Does it look, it looks okay. As long as it's not cracked and splitting. Right. No problem. Yay. Thanks again for helping us get this in the driveway. <laughs> I know it was, it doesn't like, look so like much. If, this, if that was low and it was like on this road, yeah. I can knock it down. Yeah. But if it's like, since it's on private property or like residential area, gotcha. if I was to knock that down, then I'll get a strike on my license. Totally understandable. Thank you for working with us getting it this far. I appreciate it. No problem. This has a septic tank. This whole thing right there is got to be the septic tank cover. Yeah. That's a nice house. It's really nice. I can't feel. What? We are in Freedomistan in West Virginia and we are planning out the next week's uh, of work. So we're going to build a greenhouse. We just got delivered from FedEx. And then right now we're checking the situation with the house. It's, the power is currently off because the um, power company never transferred it. And we're trying to get that on as quick as possible because we've had some really cold weather and it's November. It's going to be going into December soon. So that's the next thing. And then our uh, contractors are figuring out the architecture of the house and how much um, how much work needs to be done to build a studio up here. So, we're gonna have an exciting week. Blue week. Maybe we should have the lid off before we can see the water, right? That's fine. It's a water turkey. Yeah, it looks okay. He made it sound like it was bigger than it was. It's it? It's a pudding. And it's full of water. <laughs> I don't wanna spill it. That's delicious. You want a little bit of brown in there? Yeah. Yeah, you really like clean this thing. Scoop this stuff up and throw it in. Should we have a pan to put it in? Um, oh, that'd be nice. To, yeah. to keep it from leaking. Do you want to double that? Well, we're gonna get a pan or something to put it in. And okay. then keep it from leaking in the fridge. Is that not what Alright, should be good. Enough. Now we can vacuum it. I don't know how turkeys work, but supposedly they need uh, lemons and basil leaves so they don't go bad. for a while. When I got back, I found that this was being, this sauna was being well taken care of by a little mouse who created a little nest and it's a bunch of like little bits of string and like imagine, where did you get this string bro? And he's probably thought to himself, this is going to be perfect. I have just the string for this and now we've got this rat's nest looking thing going on. I just keep thinking he's going to like come out and be like, hey, I spent three days on that. You know how cold it is here in the wintertime? It's about as cold as it is hot in the summer. It's crazy. And everyone's like, ew, rats! Or other people are like, wow, cool, rats. You know, because like some people love mice. And that's fair, but I don't get it. I don't love, it's not the mice I hate, it's the, it's the bubonic plague. Once upon a time, in the ancient world, there was a plague, but what had happened was, they burned the bodies once a month and so they would pile up and rats would eat the corpses. And then eventually when the fires came, the smoke would make the rats leave the pile. So they would go out into the streets, they'd find somewhere else to be during the fires once a week and per month, and it would be the food grains. So then rats would sleep in the food grains, and they would get everyone more sick. Well, not everyone, just the rich people 
and they're religious, who can afford the food for bread. But, oh, that kind of reminds me today. All right, there we go. There you go, take this guy. There you go, just try to get as much of it to come out at the same time as possible. He's gonna be like, dude, where'd my home go? Imagine this poor mouse comes back and he's like, oh man, it's like nearly Christmas time. He's out getting presents for his family. He's like, dude, someone stole my whole home. It's all gone. Some mouse took apart a t-shirt. That's a lot of cotton. That's, look at that. Are you not impressed with that nest? I feel bad. All right, that's good, right? Look at that. It's all gone.